Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all well. Today you're joining me in a set of Corsa Combat Tizione. Uh, this is the version 1, release version, uh, and we're in career mode. So I've done the Lamborghini uh, development series in the Hurricane ST, uh, and I've been picked up by a team, so I'm running the McLaren 650S GT3. Um, we've run qualifying. Uh, in, in the Lamborghini development series, I got a silver a trophy, so and everything was set to hard for me, so AI was set to hard. Um, I'm not running any aids other than auto clutch. Uh, we play second in qualifying here over two qualifiers, so this is the sprint series, and now we've got a 20 minute race, so we'll just kick this off. Um, want a bit of a chat about what I think about ACC now, compared to early access. And we'll get rolling, I think. There we go. So, um, short rolling start here at Zolder. As I put it in the grass straight away. Oh, Lamborghini next to me. So we've got a 131.4 or something like that for qualifying. So we can get through here clean. Woof. So this is a sprint, it's a 20 minute sprint, but there is a pit window. So I do have to make a tyre and driver change. Hopefully we can get through it without stuffing it up. But I think I will probably enter the pits immediately. And just get it out of the way. Very nice, was it? I will say this though, something has definitely changed between, uh, a lot of things have changed between early access, even from 7.2 to version 1. It's much, um, it's much easier now to race with AI. I'm not saying that the experience is easy, but they're, uh, they're a lot more um, respectful of you as the player. And uh, they don't seem to weigh um, <laughs> an infinite amount of mass, so they don't send you flying when they hit you. Because if that little rub had happened in the previous version, I probably would have been off and rage quit. So let's talk about some of the things that I've noticed have absolutely changed. Physics and feel. Um, there's definitely been some improvements. I've been catching this 650S in slides that I never would have been able to do in early access. Um, so, and, and physics and feel, it, it, it definitely feels definitely feels better, uh, more complete than it did in early access, so I don't know what's changed. Um, graphically, it's running better for me than it did in early access. There would have been no way that I could have um, recorded a full race like this in the previous version. And, um, and that's why I've had so little um, ACC content on the channel. Um, one, because of the way it ran, and two, because I just wasn't finding it enjoyable, but I'm definitely finding racing in it now enjoyable. Um, the career mode, when you do the Lamborghini development program, I didn't record it because it's, it's basically just doing laps of Monza in different weather conditions, but I actually did enjoy it. Um, and I didn't enjoy driving the Lamborghini before, so there are definite improvements. Lambo really is pulling away. Brain fade, total brain fade. Lost a position. Okay, come on, let's get this back. Track weathering was obviously there in um, 0.72. Um, love the marbling effects. I 
and it absolutely makes a difference to your lap times. Now I know that it was out in 7.72 uh, but I never actually hit a ripple strip and got a slow leak. Um, in During practice I hit a, a ripple strip and, and got a, a slow leak in my right rear so it does happen. Didn't give it enough time to actually see whether it made the car feel any different. Um, it was right at the end of practice so I pitted and that was it. But it does happen now, so you've got to be careful. Hopefully these guys have a bit of a tussle and I can catch up. Or I can do a better first corner. <laughs> and not stuff it up. Sound effects are absolutely, absolutely brilliant. Love the uh, little touches in the interior of the cars as well. Love the way it looks. I don't know if there's been any updates to Zolder. It looks pretty much exactly the same as uh, during early access. As I said previously, I haven't really run a huge amount of Zolder in the past. Not a circuit, I really raced a lot of back in the day when I was really into league racing um, about 10 years ago in R Factor. Um, but it's become one of my favourite circuits. Only 4k long. But love the undulation. Um, get just after uh, Klein. That was a bit better. There's no way I could have pushed like this in the previous version. No way. A bit of time there, though. Can we do that? Is it a climb? That was where I got the flat last time. really don't have to use all of the circuit as older. I feel like I'm gaining on these guys now. Okay, let's go. I'm just going to pit straight away. done this so let's uh let's see if we can pull up the right spot and not completely stuff it okay there we go now there is a bug that i've run into uh, in qualifying where the ignition would not fire in second qualifier so i was running manual start uh, but I've turned it off for the race in case it didn't work here. So I could run a qualifier one, uh, qualifier two could not even start the car. Ignition didn't fire. Okay, here we 
go. Got to get a clean outlet. Yeah, so as I was saying, um, notice the bug where it was basically ignoring the ignition. The ignition would not fire even <coughs> excuse me, even if I went in and remapped the button for the ignition, it would not it would not bind or it would not recognise that the ignition was there and therefore I couldn't push the starter button. So I've I've had to set it to uh, automatic start, which is a bit of a shame. There's quite a few things that need to be sorted out. Um, one of the uh, kind of disappointing things is you can't save during career mode. So you can't do a practice and then qualify one and then save and come back to it. You have to do the whole, the whole, um, the whole round and move on to the next round before it saves. So not, not the best if you want to do an actual career in your spare time, especially if you don't have a lot of spare time. So hopefully they put a, a save function in during the actual, uh, during the round. Um, obviously there's also issues with uh, VR at the moment, that doesn't impact me, um, but VR that was working <laughs> in early access now isn't. And then obviously there's, I've got to stop saying obviously, and then of course there is the ongoing issue with multiplayer, um, whether they said that it was going to be a certain way or not, I think a lot of people got the impression that they were going to get a system, a ranking system very much like iRacing, um, and an online session system like iRacing, basically it's just a browser with the ability to do quick joins on people who are of the same or similar skill as you based on the rating system. Now I have issues with the rating system anyway, especially safety, um, because it doesn't seem to matter whether you cause an accident or someone runs into you, your safety rating is impacting, impacted. So hopefully that gets a, a bit of a tweak over time, because right now I don't like it at all. But as a pure sim, based on physics and feel, I rate this up there with my other two kind of favourites being uh, Factor 2, Race Room and this. So I think I'll probably be playing a fair bit more of this, just purely based on the way it feels. I'll definitely keep doing the career mode. It's catches like that that I feel I can do now, but I could never have done in the previous build. <coughs> so we're still in third. actually be the Lambo that started first, so maybe the Audi is now in first, and the Lambo is in second. That wasn't the best hairpin. Jackie X. <coughs> Excuse me. So Zolder as we know it really 
hasn't changed much since it opened in 1963. Um, the whole track layout is exactly the same as it was back then when it first opened. Uh, and all that's happened over time is obviously safety barriers, that type of thing, um, and the addition of all the chicanes. Which I think is a testament to the actual design and layout of the circuit to start with. Close to the sand then. Almost half a second down on my best lap. Really hit those bumps hard then. adds a, uh, a level of risk clipping those now, knowing that you can actually get a flat spot, oh, sorry, a, a flat. Okay, let's, let's get a decent lap in this time, let's see if we can nail this first corner. It's 52 of the race left, how much are we losing? Half a pound. Hopefully it doesn't keep going down. third. Body language is starting to show. Come on. taking me a whole race and I actually kind of got that right then. A little bit slower through there. Let's come up to Klein. Let's 
sacrament. The 650S is holding up all right. Okay, last lap. to the 31s. So put a decent lap in though, it's Almost not that far off me. out on this last lap a bit. Whew. Well there you go guys. Come up to the last uh, to Jackie X here. I would think if you are uh, interested in currently a sim for a single player and you've got time to sit through uh, whole sessions for career mode, then I would highly recommend this because it is, um, it's up there now. The way it feels, the way it handles, um, I'd rate it right up there. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed that guys. Um, if you did, give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe uh, button and the notification bell, and I'll be sure to upload more content soon. Thanks everyone. Bye.